What's going on everyone and welcome back to Movie Emporium's Netflix original review of Tick Tick Boom. This is a story that was created by Jonathan Larson and is directed by Lynn manuel Miranda. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button and join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like any of these videos, awesome, hit that like button as well as comment below on any video you watch, including this one. So Tick Tick Boom is a semi-autobiographical story that is about Jonathan Larson himself. He actually created this musical as well as it got turned into a three-man musical itself. And basically focuses on a character named John. It's basically Jonathan Larson himself. And in essence, it's his view about what it was like to be a struggling artist, what it takes to make something truly special, to find that voice, how it affects your fans and friends and family, and what does that do on the psyche of an individual who is trying their best to be something that they are not getting to. And on top of that, he wanted to do it before he was 30 because of the whole Steven Sondheim creating something before he was 27. And it's in essence a musical story about Jonathan Larson's life up to the point where he created Rent and unfortunately passed away the day Rent started the premiere on a workshop. And so with the story in a musical like Tick, Tick, Boom, I'm going to be fairly honest, I really didn't know much about the story. I knew there was a thing called Tick, Tick, Boom, and it was on Broadway in the U.S. circuit, and it had some popularity, but I didn't know it was a Jonathan Larson thing. I only thought he created Rent, and that, of course, is very influential and one of my favorite musicals of all time, but I didn't know he created something that was about the struggling artist, about an individual who goes through a lot of pain. So when I started hearing about this, I became really intrigued. I love what Jonathan Larson did as a composer, the fact that he could have lived for, uh, you know, Know, for everything and unfortunately had this thing happen to him is really sad but I also started hearing some really positive buzz about this you know with Lin-Manuel Miranda's direction who's very inspired I'm assuming by uh, Jonathan Larson I heard that the acting in this is incredible I heard the music was great that it's you know kind of a, a co collaboration of four different versions of this musical and I just heard everything was great about this and that really makes me intrigued I love great musicals I think they're some of the most best storytelling stuff in the world and I was just anticipating this coming on Netflix, you know, I had no way of watching it until it arrived on Netflix itself. And so the question honestly remains, and the one you guys are all asking is, how is this film? Did I like it or did I not like it? How's the direction, acting, and storytelling? I'm here to say this is one of my favorite movies of the year. The more and more I think about this, the more and more I love it. It's a fact that it's a musical that I never heard of before, truly, honestly, that completely caught me off guard and completely caught me by surprise. It's a movie with great portrayals, great acting. It's a movie about the soul-sucking nature of what it's like to be an artist and how you have to put everything of your soul and your heart and your livelihood into something that may never succeed and how you know hard that is and how rewarding it is and how you know people who are around you may not see that passion but he kept pushing and pushing and pushing and Lin-Manuel Miranda's direction and the story itself really shows you that in spades and it's an absolutely fantastic look into that culture and I just found myself falling in love with it every second I watch this movie because it's so reminiscent and echoes so much of Rent that it feels Feels like a precursor to Rent and there's so many moments in this movie where it actually echoes portions that you see in Rent like for instance there's like things that Andrew Garfield does his character of Jonathan Larson does or things he interacts with or the way his world works where it's slowly you can start seeing characters and individuals who will fit in that influential musical and you'll hear like tones and keys when he's playing on the piano and you'll see like situations for instance with his friend who's played by Ray Azuz who's a uh, gay individual who has AIDS and you see his kind of influences with like like Benny and of course uh, Angel in the Rent play. You see kind of moments with like, for instance, his girlfriend who's played by Alexander Shipp, who very feel, feels very much like Mimi in a lot of aspects. And there's just a lot of that that just really makes this musical stand out. It's very nostalgic in a lot of aspects for that particular reason, where it's 100% truthful that a lot of these characters either existed or are based on characters or people he knew, and that's how he influenced himself, it is really telling and really showing, but it really gives you a sense of like how his view and how his world worked and how he kind of collected 
reflected himself when he made these types of things. But it's just it's just a powerful story that I found very, very, very riveting. And I found the music very uh, well paced and well put together. I like how this musical kind of runs. It's very similar to Rent or, you know, Book of Mormon or something like that, where these stories and these music, uh, when the music starts popping up and the songs start popping up, you'll have like the action set pieces or the, the scenes and so on and so forth. And all of a sudden, for instance, Andrew Garfield will just start coming in and start singing a song or he'll be at a piano, he'll just start singing a song and it just flows in naturally and then flows out naturally. And it just, it really works. And it's actually one of the most uh, compelling things about, about this movie is just how flowing and free flowing the music is and how it just kind of comes and goes and that's what makes a musical so great is you can have those situations where you know individuals will just be talking and all of a sudden they'll just go into song and the song will be you know life lesson or what is the situation that is at hand they'll do you know for instance there's a part where Vanessa Hudgens and uh, Andrew Garfield start singing a song and there there's a point where Alexander Ship and Andrew Garfield are fighting and the song really plays well with the, with the underlying situation all that's going on in this movie and that's what this movie just does so well and what makes it truly and honestly work is Lin-Manuel Miranda's direction. This guy has true talent. This guy is one of the greatest that will ever run when it comes to musicals, when it comes to storytelling, when it comes to direction, his depth of how he films things, how he brings in characters and brings out characters, how he just shoots things. It's very natural. It feels like a musical, but it also feels like a movie. It's just the guy has one of those eyes that is just so compelling to watch and when you see how he plays it on the screen how he positions all the characters and stuff like that it's just absolutely fantastic to watch it really is and it's one of those things that i hope and i pray that he does that where he starts directing more and more stuff that he gets better and better and better at what he does because if this is a starting point i can't wait to see what he does down the road if he doesn't know a musical or he does drama or comedy he's just he's an absolute talent when it comes to creating in any form or aspect. So I, I, like I said, you can definitely tell he's inspired by Jonathan Larson when he creates this movie. And then on top of that, he's able to pull in talent from people he knows and the people that were in Rent and everything that Jonathan Larson did. So we see Philip Asu and Adam Pascal and, you know, Benedict, uh, Bernadette Peters pops up in here as a really fun role and all these characters that you know and love, you know, that have shown up in all these types of musicals throughout the years are fantastic and they don't feel out of place. It's not stupidly done and it just shows the talent of how you can bring in these characters as a nostalgia point and just have fun with it and just make it very uh honor honoring a care an individual that was very inspiring for a lot of people so and like i said the acting is absolutely incredible you know andrew garfield is playing jonathan larson and andrew garfield's amazing and everything he does at this point uh he is playing older than type because jonathan larson in this particular era was only 29 i think he was turning 30 but you really get the plights you really get the sense of the struggles that he's going through Andrew Garfield just knocks it out of the park. His his voice is beautiful. The guy is just talented in whatever he does, and he shows it on the screen. He shows the struggles, his you know his passions, his you know love for his family, his love for his friends, and you know it really is an honorable tribute to the man that created Rent and the man who created uh, uh, basically a culture that was very underutilized, and underrepresented, and just. You know, Andrew Garfield does spectacularly in the movie. And then on top of that, Alexander Ship's fantastic in the small amount of stuff she's in in this movie. She really shows you the heart and kind of the, you know, struggles of who Jonathan Larson was as, her, as you know, his girlfriend and stuff like that. And how she needs to do something better and then you like i said you have robin day Zeus in this movie who's absolutely fantastic you know one in or got nominated for a tony for in the heights and stuff like that i think that's you know a character that is very well represented is very well uh, positioned and written and is very much an inspiration for who jonathan larson kind of hung around and you know the people he cared about and he was very much an open individual who brought in everybody didn't matter race creed uh sexuality and so on and so forth he was just a very honestly open individual that really tried to make the world a better place and he honestly did with rent he really did so i love what robin day Azus does in this movie it's fantastic and he plays well off of Andrew Garfield and if I had like one particular problem with this movie it's the use of Vanessa Hudgens who is a fantastic actress in her own right she's really coming to her own as somebody who's kind of broken out of that teen bop scene with you know people like uh, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart and so on and so forth Zac Efron and she's barely used in this movie she I know she's being inspired by you know some of the characters in Rent but I would have liked to see more of her I would have liked to see her get more depth and more you 
you know, uh, dialogue and use. It just feels like she's just kind of there as somebody Jonathan Larson used as an actor, an actress in his suburbia thing that he did. And I, I don't know. I just, I felt like she was underused, underutilized in the movie. And for somebody as big a talent as she is, I think they could have done more with her in this movie. But in the end, I, it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. But I just, that's kind of a nitpick that I have with Lin-Manuel Miranda and the storytelling. Because they did switch some stuff around. And they changed some music out and so on and so forth. Which was what kind of happens when you do movie musicals. But I just wish she could have been used more. And, but other than that, like I said, this is a fantastic portrayal of Jonathan Larson. This is a fantastic musical one of the best of the year. It's a movie that has a lot of heart, a lot of passion, and really shows you the depths of what it's like for an individual to really drive and strive and struggle and uh, just do everything in his power to become the best, and that's what he ended up becoming. So, um, But other than that, that is going to be my take on Tick, Tick, Boom. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, comments below. Let me know what you think of the musical, if you have seen it. What do you think of this movie compared to the musical? What is your overall thoughts? If not, are you interested in seeing this? All that good stuff. But otherwise, if you like what you see in this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell. Top to finals coming next. If you like any of these videos, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.